Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Mm. All right, so I have to go. I have to get going like, right now. I got about six, six and a half hours of sleep, but it's time. I gotta go. Shit, this day's gonna be busy. Ugh. I think I can relax a little bit Monday evening. And I'll have a little bit of a relaxing day then, finally. So I'll just have to look forward to that. Here we go. <laughs> oh, and one last thing. My weight today was 163.8. So it dropped down 1.2 pounds. It's exactly what I was hoping would happen and what I suspected might happen based on, you know, how my weight has fluctuated before. So that makes me feel better. I mean, I still have a lot of, uh, I have a long ways to go in two weeks, but um, it makes me feel a little bit better. Like there's possibly some hope or light at the end of the tunnel. It's about 12.15 and I'm getting ready for the Jubilee shoot now. I need a little bit of energy and I don't have time to brew coffee, so I'm gonna go pick up some coffee and then head over to the shoot location and get this bad boy started. Okay, I just parked and walking up to the studio now. I think it's gonna be really cool. I don't know how they're gonna find random people on the street in this area to just ask me questions, but I guess that's their job to figure out, huh? I'm looking forward to answering some random ass questions. Who knows? Hi, I just wanted to check in. Are you here for the Jubilee shoot? Yeah. Sweet. It's at, right. uh, my time slot is at one. What's your name? One to three, Ray oh, you? Yeah. Cool. Just doing a daily vlog. Oh, cute. Philip. Raven's here. You can come in this way, but I just don't want you to trip over anything. Okay. But I'll walk you through. Cool. Thank you. But I'm also not like sorry. Okay. Cool. Sorry. Thank you. Appreciate it. Physics on our hands. Okay. Going on, guys. So we're just breaking for lunch right now. Okay. Cool. Um, we will hang out and eat some coffee. And we're probably gonna start shooting at like 145-ish, like 150, something like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can just hang cool. back, kick it. Is there a place where I can kind of put my stuff? Sure. Um, let's see. Where's the best place for stuff? Yeah. I think the, the porn star is the one that garnered a lot of like weirdo questions. The like, porn star was a guy? No, no. Oh, no one like of the guys guy. asked me a question with oh. like asking really ridiculous questions. He, before he came in, he was like, how derogatory can I be? And I was like, excuse me? Wow. What did you just That's say? That's your intention going into it? Yeah, he was like, I was like, wait, wait. What do you mean by derogatory? He was like, well, I'm going to ask like, like, how many dicks have you had in your mouth? And like, or like, can you rate my dick pic? And I'm like, first of all, that's not derogatory, but like, that in the video? it's just, it's just, no, it's just, just like, childish. yeah, it's just childish, yeah. He's coming back. And he was, I was like, you're welcome to like, ask any questions that you want, but that doesn't mean they're necessarily gonna be in the video exactly. or that like, they're gonna be received yeah. well. Exactly. I was like, and you have to be prepared for if it does yeah, make it's it It's not about video. shock value alone. Yeah, exactly. He's like, I just want to be that guy that like gets all I'm the comments in the video. And I was like, you're welcome to be whatever guy just, you want. I'm, just, I'm not going to condone it People or say it's worse. a good idea. I didn't want to stress it I just added the last three three weeks to my competition to do a daily vlog. Oh, cool. So it's been a challenge. Everybody's having Chipotle, just only my favorite thing to eat ever. I used to eat Chipotle every single day. And now I can't have anything because I'm on diet. And my coach just told me today that we're cutting out all my potatoes for one meal out of the two, so I can only have it. Usually I have it for lunch and dinner, but now I can only have it for one of them. And I'm sure he's gonna cut out the rest of the potatoes probably the last week, so. It's getting brutal, it's getting brutal. And now I just, I'm like in this room and I just smell Chipotle. It's, it smells fucking delicious. And there's all this crafty food too I can't eat. Let's listen to what the camera guy has to say. <laughs> Let's just like, yeah, just like him up and listen to his commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Mic time? Are you ready to go? Yeah. Let's do it. Go 
Oh, these want to drop this down, you sure? Yeah. The beast of a camera. The beast. When I was in high school broadcasting, oh, maybe I should change this. Is there another, like, more thing? There's not another big one back there. There's a speed level. I think I'll be able to do it in your future. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Thank you again, man. Thank you. Okay, so we just wrapped the shoot. It went really well. I was asked a lot of different questions, and some of them really had me thinking. So that's cool. The one thing I did notice, though, is that most of the people who came in to ask questions were girls were girls and it's interesting because you know HIV obviously heavily affects the male population so I was really surprised that there wasn't more male rep representation for something like that but um, I'm just really super stoked with how it went it was really cool what a great opportunity I think it's so awesome that Jubilee Media is creating situations where these kinds of dialogues that need to happen are happening and yeah they also they learned something so that's good too all right now i'm gonna head home i'm gonna eat i'm fucking starving and then get ready for the podcast that i'm doing tonight remember that cocktail video i said i was working on um i was and i used my old restaurant as the location for that well the producers loved what i created um they were super happy with it but they did give me some notes and they want me to do a shot of me actually drinking the cocktail. So I'm going back to the restaurant just to shoot that tiny little clip so I can work on it, finish it, and send it off to them. Film that clip, done. Went to the pet store to get dookie food and treats, done. Went grocery shopping, done. Got gas, done. Cooked some lunch, done. Ate it, and now it is 10 minutes till seven. At seven o'clock, I'm gonna be doing a podcast around HIV. <laughs> I can hear you. Very All well. right. So I'm Kabe. Hey. Hey, nice to meet you. And this is Lizzie. Hi. Hi, Lizzie. And uh, you can't see Joe right now. Okay. Um, but he's there, trust he's me. He's behind you. Okay. So, <laughs> so we're he's getting. Creepy guy behind you. He's very creepy. We are going to get things set up here. Um, let me ask you uh, have you had a chance to listen to the show? Do you kind of know what our deal is? I didn't get a chance. I apologize for that. I've been. That Totally Swamped. cool, don't worry about it. The only, the only reason I bring it up is I just kind of want to get you a sense of what it's about. So we're sort of a medical adjacent podcast. Mm -hmm. We do most of the medical topics. I'm a doctor. Lizzie's also a doctor. We're a gastroenterologist and hepatologist by trade. Um, Joe is a drummer, and so he's sort of our everyman. He's gonna, he might ask you a couple of questions, and you might think he's fucking with you, but he's not. He's being okay. totally sincere. And uh, his, his heart's in the right place. Sometimes his questions are brilliant. Sometimes you're going to be like, what the fuck's going on? But that's part of why it works. Uh, it's all fair game. Our, all fair game. Our audience is mostly medical type, okay. medical type professionals. Um, but we have a good amount of just sort of lay people who are interested in medical topics too. Yeah. So they have, a, I think, a better understanding of medical topics than your average person. But we always try to explain things um, in the, in the, for, the, for people who don't know, who don't yeah. have a lot of experience. So you may hear us stop you and say something like, well, um, for our listeners, that means blank. And if you feel like we're using medical jargon that you don't understand, please stop us. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, is there anything you don't want us to cover or talk about? Nope. Okay. We do a little bit of light editing. Mm -hmm. We don't do a ton, but we do enough. And if there's something along the way where you're like, 
boy, I shouldn't have said that or whatever. We can always take it out. Okay. Our goal is to make you look good. So like we're we're not gonna we're not gonna do any gotcha journalism yeah. or anything on it. Okay. Like, that, does that make sense? Yeah. All right. I really appreciate you coming on by the way. Shaheen speaks really highly of you. Awesome. I mean I appreciate you guys for having me. This is very cool. Um so I'm I'm hearing a little bit of our echo okay. in your in from your end. Um hmm. do you have headphones by any chance or earbuds? I do. Uh let me see. One sec. Take take your time, tell me if that works. If not, we'll just switch the phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's all I need. It's something just like this in the time.